I love this suit! Thank you, man. It, it, it takes a lot of time. I, I park my Jaeger at night. <laughs> well, first of all, Steven, congratulations. Thank you very much. I enjoy every moment. Oh, thank the you. The fighting is epico, and all I want to see, I saw in this movie. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. Uh, I'm missing only Jaegers, Jaegers from Brazil. Ah, Jaegers from Brazil. I hope you are in the third. Please do. Yeah, you know, I will take that under advisement. It was interesting because, you know, the first movie, they had Jaegers from different countries. And moving the Pan Pacific Defense Corps forward, what we wanted to do is make it just a complete fighting force. So now that all the Jaegers are, are united, so it's not separate countries' Jaegers, that it's all one cohesive fighting force. Uh, in the movie, you are, you are a pilot, you are a commander, uh, and you have to keep this family together. How do you bring this to you know, the concept of uh, we are together to win? Well, I was a pilot. I am a pilot. Really? I am a pilot in real life. This is the bicho me, I'm a doid. And I think when I get into um, a helicopter or an airplane, um, I change as a person. Um, I become very serious, and there's no more um, messing around. Um, and so I know that mentality, so I was able to bring that. Can you tell me a little more about the challenge to assume this new franchise? I mean, uh, the author has a vision, and you have to pick up this vision and put your own on it. Taking up this franchise was a hugely daunting task. I've been a huge fan of Guillermo del Toro ever since he came on my radar with Kronos. I've seen all of his movies multiple times at the theater. There is no other director like him out there. He is a visual genius. So um, one of the first things that I did was uh, talk to Guillermo. Um, I needed to get Guillermo's blessing to be able to do this movie. And uh, I told him my ideas, he, he loved them, he had some great suggestions. And, and I, I always remember the thing that he told me, he said, look, uh, I'm going off to shoot um, a, a little movie that's a passion project of mine. Turns out it was The Shape of Water. So it was just fantastic. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Um, and he said, look, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be really busy, but feel free to reach out anytime if you need any help. But otherwise, um, I'm going to stay out of your hair. I want this to be your movie. Make it, make it yours. And to have someone like Guillermo uh, put that trust and confidence in me was exactly what I needed to be able to make this movie. You were also in Suicide Squad. Não tô lembrado não. Nunca nem vi. Do you think the team would have a chance against Aijun? Oh, they survive wow. Kaijun? That's a good question. It would be a good fight. I'd like to see it. <laughs> see, so let's go to the next question. You will be the director of the Pacific Rim Tree. Uh, I am contracted to be the director. Okay, um, it really all depends on schedules and timing. I would love to come back to this franchise. I think uh, the next chapter that, that I want to tell is extremely exciting. Um, if for some reason I can't return, I sincerely hope that Guillermo del Toro can return because I would love to see him uh, pick up the mantle again and, and carry this franchise over the finish line. If you could choose a song to listen while you pilot a Jaeger, which song would you choose? Ooh. <laughs> what song would I listen? Ooh. I, I gotta say, it's gotta be the Pacific Rim theme song. I mean, what other song? A little Whitney Houston, How Will I Know? <laughs> How will I know? Good choice. <laughs> <laughs>